Great Britain is going to have a new Prime Minister tomorrow morning. Members of the Conservative Party in Parliament voted today to make John Major the new Prime Minister. At 47, the youngest in Britain in this century. He will take office tomorrow after he and Margaret Thatcher go to Buckingham Palace to visit the Queen. ABC's Barry Dunsmore is in London. It was 6.20 on the face of Big Ben, a historic moment inside the British House of Commons. Michael Heseltine, 131. Douglas Hurd, 56. John Major, 185. Major was two votes short of a majority. But runner-up Michael Heseltine, who had provoked this leadership crisis by challenging Mrs. Thatcher, immediately conceded defeat, making John Major the next Prime Minister. It is a very exciting thing to become leader of the Conservative Party, and particularly exciting, I think, to follow one of the most remarkable leaders that the Conservative Party has ever had. Who happened to be in Major's house at that moment, watching events from behind a curtain. John Major is Margaret Thatcher's choice. Some would say her creation. He was elected to the House of Commons in the same year Thatcher became Prime Minister and ably handled several minor government jobs. As her team deserted her in recent years, Thatcher threw Major into a series of high cabinet posts. First, the Foreign Secretary for three months, then Chancellor, the man who runs the Treasury for the past year. So will Thatcher continue to pull the strings? She will be a daunting presence of the brooding shadow over the political scene because um, she was such a phenomenon in her own right <clears throat> and that will last for quite some while but I don't believe she'll interfere no. What apparently attracted Thatcher to Major was that they were both outsiders who did not belong to the stuffy upper classes who once dominated the Conservative Party. Major's parents had a music hall act. His father was a frequently out of work trapeze artist. Major did not have to cultivate an image of man of the people. He is one. He quit school at 16. And before he became a successful banker, he had worked as a laborer, had been unemployed, and lived on welfare. He is just the kind of self-made man Thatcherism was designed to create. In foreign policy, Major is inexperienced, but his cabinet will not be. And no one expects significant changes, especially in the Gulf. And I believe he will be good for Britain, good for Europe, and I think as far as the United States is concerned, they will have a loyal ally. And given the direction of events in the Gulf, Margaret Thatcher's young successor may be tested quite soon. Barry Dunsmore, ABC News, London. Still overseas, some further proof today of the instability in the Soviet Union from Mikhail Gorbachev himself. The Soviet president vowing to maintain order gave Soviet soldiers the right to open fire if they are attacked by armed groups. Mr. Gorbachev said...